good morning this is vrishali and welcome to cs and it tutorials by vrishali in my last lecture we learn about introduction examples of machine learning then training versus testing data set and we also learn about supervised learning algorithm i have mentioned the link of that videos in below description box so in this video we will learn about the next type of learning that is unsupervised learning let's see following points are covered in this video which includes types of learning unsupervised learning algorithm introduction then working of supervised learning algorithm why use unsupervised learning then types of unsupervised machine learning algorithm type there are types like clustering association and advantages of disadvantages of this unsupervised learning algorithm so let's start so these are the types of learning we already learn in last lecture that is supervised learning unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning in this session we will learn about unsupervised learning algorithm next so what is mean by unsupervised learning algorithm in my last lecture we learn about supervised learning algorithm in supervised learning algorithm we will pass label input data to the machine for the training purpose right we already passed a particular image that is image of apple and their label is apple this kind of data input data to the machine for the training purpose this is a concept of supervised learning algorithm but now in unsupervised learning algorithm we will pass unlabeled data set to the particular machine for the training purpose means here we will pass the particular collections of images for example say in this diagram there are various collections of images of birds or animals right so we will pass this data sets to the machine for the training purpose so in unsupervised algorithm machine can be identify the structure of data set machine can identify the particular groups then particular functionality similarities then particular characteristics structure of each and every animals this all things can be identify the machine and after that they can predict a particular result so this is a concept of unsupervised learning algorithm we didn't pass label data to the machine for training purpose okay so for that purpose we will use different algorithms like k means clustering k nearest neighbor algorithm hierarchical clustering anomaly detection neural network then principal component analysis and a priori algorithm so we will learn all those algorithm in next session so here the concept of unsupervised learning algorithm is we will pass unlabeled data to the machine for training purpose and machine identify from those images and uh, cluster them or group them as per their characteristics this is a concept of unsupervised learning algorithm next now see here this is just working of unsupervised learning algorithm in this image see in this image there is a there are total four images of uh, there are two images for cat and two images for dog right we will pass these images as a input to the machine these are the unlabeled input data there are only images right this unlabeled input data passed to the machine for the training purpose now machine can, by using some algorithms like k means clustering algorithm decision tree algorithm machine can be identify some pattern of that particular images structure characteristics right this all kinds of specifications identify the machine for that particular images okay then after training and after identifying the machine the particular model can be generate the particular groups of that data set for example see here there is a dogs and there are the cats this is the output of that particular machine by using unsupervised learning algorithm see this is a working of unsupervised learning algorithm machine identify the patterns of those images and as per their pattern group the data as per their characteristics machine can be group the data or cluster the data by using some algorithms so this is a working of unsupervised learning algorithms next now uh, why we use unsupervised learning algorithm so unsupervised learning algorithm is very helpful for finding the useful insights from the data useful insights means some uh, specification 
unsupervised learning algorithm use different algorithms for find out the feature extraction feature selection this kind of approach purpose they find out the hidden structure of each and every data right they find out the structure of cat image and they find out the structure of dog image so they find out the pattern of each and every image this is a main use of unsupervised learning algorithm then unsupervised learning algorithm works on unlabeled data and uncategorized data there is a combination of all kinds of data sets right so they can be group those images as per their features in real world we do not always have a input data with corresponding output right nowadays there are large amount of data vast amount of data sets are available sometimes data are in sorted format sometimes data are not in sorted formats so at that time unsupervised learning algorithm is very useful to identifying the clustering of data set as per their similarities so that's why we use unsupervised learning algorithms now uh, there are two types of unsupervised machine learning algorithms that is clustering and association so let's see the first type of unsupervised algorithm is clustering so what is meant by clustering so cluster cluster means group the group of similar functionalities this is called as cluster okay so clustering is a method to grouping the objects into the cluster which have the, the most similarities right see in this diagram suppose this is your raw data okay there are different images of strawberries and different images of apples and lemons etc so the particular machine identify the features the patterns the particular characteristics of that particular images and cluster those images as per their characteristics this is the working of unsupervised learning algorithms so cluster analysis find the commonalities between the data objects and categorize them as per the presence and absence of those commonalities this is called as clustering and now the next type of unsupervised algorithm is called as association so association means to find out the relationship between the variables the best example of association is market strategy or market basket analysis suppose a particular person buy x item then they also buy a y item this is called as association for example see here suppose a particular person buy a bread from supermarket then they also buy a butter so this is called as a relation or relativity purpose of particular product suppose a particular customer buy a mobile then they also buy a headphones right so analysis of all those data or analysis of all those interrelated data this is called as association so it determine the set of items that occur and that can be purchased together this is called as association these are the different examples that is market basket analysis then statistical data analysis social network analysis for example facebook facebook always gives you a suggestion regarding your nearest friend or the particular persons that uh, working on same organization same companies right it shows you a suggestion regarding this it shows you a suggestion regarding friends of friends like this so this is called as social network analysis then image segmentation anomaly detection so this is a concept of association and for that purpose we will use different unsupervised learning algorithms now uh, these are the some advantages and disadvantages of unsupervised learning algorithm the advantages of unsupervised learning algorithms are that will be useful for more complex tasks because it requires large amount of data sets labels are not necessary right so that will be used for more complex tasks as compared to supervised learning algorithms then unsupervised learning algorithm preferable it's very easy to get unlabeled data and comparison to labeled data because nowadays unlabeled data is much available as compared to labeled data right so identify their patterns and group them by their similarities this is the work of unsupervised learning algorithm now the disadvantages of unsupervised learning algorithms are that will be more difficult than supervised learning because it does not have corresponding output right then the result of unsupervised algorithm might be less accurate as input data is not labeled right suppose your input is with labeled data as uh, as like to supervised learning algorithm so your output is more accurate right 
but in uh, unsupervised learning algorithm labels are not given so machine can be learned as per their pattern and as per their features so uh, the identification and prediction is not much accurate as compared to supervised learning algorithm because sometimes some images are uh, very similar to each other so this is the disadvantages of unsupervised learning algorithms so thank you hope so you should understand the concept about unsupervised learning algorithms so if you like my videos please subscribe the channel thank you keep practicing